Hello, everybody. My name is Simone Scalabrin. I work for IGA Technology. And today I'm going to present you how to download data through our delivery system. So the first thing you need to do is connect to our delivery system. You can do it through the browser. browser. To do so, you just need to insert the proper link, which is support.egatech.it slash delivery. This will redirect you to the login page. Here you need to insert your credentials, the one that were proposed to you through our delivery system. You received an email containing username and password. Normally they are in the format of surname underscore name for the username and password is coded by us. Then you press on login. And you will find the deliveries ready for you. So all the data that we prepared for you. In this case, there is only one delivery. And I can surf within it. So it's a folder icon. I click on it and I see there are multiple objects. There are two HTML files and another folder containing other data. Going back to the original screen. Okay, I still see the folder, but there is also an HTML file, which is a description of what is inside the folder. So I suggest to use both. So this is your data and this is just a recap of what you're going to download. An easy way to download all the data is just to click on the tick boxes here on the side. You select what, whatever you want to download. And for uh, small batches of data, smaller than five gigabases, you can download them directly through the download button. So I press it. And now it will tell me, OK, you want to download multiple set of files and I compress them in a zip file so I can provide a file name like my first data from tech and the folder where I want to download them and I just click on save. I can look for them and here they are. Now they are in my local folders and I see the snapshot that I downloaded, so the HTML file and the folder itself. Okay, let me remove them. Because now I want to show you another way to download the data. In particular, when you have large batches of file of data, so bigger than five gigabases, we ask the customers to use either SFTP clients like WinSGP or Fazila, or even better use comma line. Comma line is for the expert people, and I'm not going to talk about that today, don't worry. Um, so just the SFTP clients, which are uh, softwares that you need to install in your system. I propose to for Windows, there are similar versions for other platforms. So in my case, I can try with WinSGP. I need to type it in. I see it's already installed. Press on it, and first thing that appears is login. So I need to tell WinSGP where to copy the data from. So where is the remote server? In our case, the remote server, which is also called the host name, is support. Port number is 22 is OK. Username is the usual surname underscore name. The password, the one that we provided you. So now you can either save this information so that it will appear here on the left panel for the next time that you try to log in, or you can directly log in to the Gigatech delivery system. So after a welcome page, you will find on the left side your local 
a computer, so a path where you can download your data. And on the right side, you will find the remote server, the Eager Technology remote server with the delivery data that you are ready for. These are contained within your user surname and score name. So as before, exactly same delivery folder, same HTML file. I can click on it and see the content itself or go back to the original uh, location. Now what I can do is I can select in any way as you do in Windows uh, folder and files that I want to download and drag and drop all of them in the left panel. In this way, the download will start. You see here a progress bar telling me how far I'm, I am. So in this case it was a toy example, so I didn't have lots of files. And everything is already done, downloaded. Uh, what I can do is to switch my download test folder. This is again a local folder in my uh, local computer. And here I have the data that I downloaded again, second time. Re remove them again. Go back here and I say I'm done with WinSGP. I like it, easy. And I can close it. Next and last test is with FileZilla. So you need to install FileZilla. You either you or your system administrator. Which is another SFTP client. Uh, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. SFTP is Secure File Transfer Protocol. And again, here I need to type the host, which is again support.giga.id. Username is the usual surname and score name, and password the one that we provided you. And the port here, you need to type it, and it's 22. So either I do quick connect, which is login, or I can serve through other uh, saved. Um, locations like, for example, surname name is already here, and then do quick connect. Here, as for WinSGP, you have a left and right panel. On the left side, you have the local site. On the right panel, you have the remote site. For the remote side, again, you have the same data as before. So the folded HTML file, you can select them either with clicking, perhaps using Control and click or selecting them, drag and drop on the left panel so the download will start. Here you see the progress bar for each file. There are quite a few files inside the delivery folder. And once everything is done, you should see that your queued files queue is empty. So everything is downloaded. There are no failed transfers and there are 107 successful, successful transfers. So there were more than 100 files that we downloaded. Again, I go to my local folder, download test, and I see the files that are already here. That's all for today. Enjoy downloading our data from our delivery system. Bye.